Hi, I'm Nami from eLearning Channel Museum. In this lesson, we're going to learn major seventh chord and minor seventh chord and how to play the seventh chord in a song. One of my subscribers asked me what is major seventh chord? I'm gonna teach you today. First, we're going to learn the seventh chord. We have learned the seventh chord, right? Seventh is you just built it off another scheme. But do you remember I said you have to come down whole step, which is just two half step. That's a C seventh chord. And D coming down whole step. This is D seventh chord, right? Now, there is another seventh chord, which we call major seventh chord. Now, what if we just come down half step from the octave? Just like this. This is a major seventh chord. Got it? So this is the C major seventh chord. How do we write it? We write C, M, capital letter, and seven. So difference between C major seventh and regular seventh is just half step down or whole step down. So as you see it, if we come down half step, then it's going to be C major 7th, and we write it C M 7th. And if we come down another half step, we just write it C 7th. So whenever you see the letter with the 7th, that means you have to come whole step down, right? So D 7th. But if we want to make it D major 7th, then we just come half step down. That's kind of weird, right? This is the jazz chord. We most often use in jazz music. I know some of you feel uncomfortable with hearing this dissonant. Dissonant means like crushing each other's. It's uncomfortable because it's too close. This kind of sound we call dissonant. It means, you know, too tight. So whenever you hear a dissonant sound, it's gonna make you uncomfortable. But sometimes in a chord, since we hear the D and C sharp, not right next to each other, but you know, spread a little far, that makes another weary but tasty sound. Just like a pepper and salt. It has own characteristic. Do you hear it? Yes. So what if we wanna make it E major seventh chord. That, that's easy, right? From E to half step down. Then we write it E major seven, E M seven, and then if we just come down another half step, then it's gonna be E seventh chord, right? What about F? From F to half step down. Then F major seven, F. M7. And then if we come another half step down, then it's going to be F7. Yes. So basically the seventh chord is you built it up from the major. If you come down half step, then this is C major seventh chord. And we write a C M7 and C major chord with another half step down, then it's going to be C7, just letter with a seven, which we already know. And there is another one. What if the chord is not major chord, but if it's a minor chord, and then if we do seventh one, then we write C minor seventh. Why? Because this top is still a whole step down. So this will be just regular seven. Now, there is four seventh chord. First one is from major chord to seventh note, half step down, which is major seventh chord, C major seven. And what if we come down whole step, then it's going to be C, seventh chord to see with number seven and then 
if the chord is not major, but what, what if it's a minor? C minor chord with seventh chord. Half step down. Then this will be C minor and above we're gonna write a major seventh. That means major seventh chord. And what if we have C minor chord and whole step down, which is just regular seventh chord? Then it will be C minor seventh. Got it? So there is two steps. First, you have to think is this major chord or is this minor chord? And then the next step, whatever chord it is, you have to see is this half step down or whole step down. If it's half step down, then it will be major 7. And if it's whole step down, then it will be just regular 7. So letter with a 7. Got it? So C chord from half step down is C major 7. And Seven. And then making a minor and if we come down half step, then it's going to be C minor major seventh chord. And then if we come down another half step and make it whole step down, then it's C minor seventh chord. Got it? Because if we come down the whole step, we just write the number. So the fingering will be 1, 2, 3, and 5 will be just basic C. And you come down 1, 2, 3, 5. 1, 2, 3, 5. And now moving to minor chord, 1, 2, 3. It's always 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3, 5 again. Half step down and whole step down. So, all the chord is the same way. Now let's see how it goes on the D and the last of keys. D, major chord, D again, and if we come half step down, then it will be D major seventh. And then if we come another half step down, D seventh chord, D with the number seven. And then making this major chord to minor, seventh chord and then if we come another half step down this is D minor seventh chord got it and what about an E then let's see E chord and half step down E major seventh chord and another half step down E seventh chord and making this E chord to minor, an octave, E chord, E minor, and half step down, E major seventh chord. And another half step down is E minor seventh chord. Got it? Then what about an F? The same way. F chord, F major chord, and half step down. F major 7th chord and another half step down F 7th chord and making this F chord to minor right and half step down F minor major 7th chord and if we come another half step down F minor seventh chord got it it's pretty easy right then what about in g let's see what is this one first you have to check is this major chord or minor chord is this major or minor from bottom to middle note is one two three four half steps so it's going to be major chord 
And then what about from tap to the seventh note? It's just half step down. So this is major chord plus major seventh chord. So G major seventh chord. That's how you find. What about if we want to make it minor seventh chord? Then first you have to make minor chord. So this is a G major and make it minor. One, two, three half step. G minor chord. And then just regular seventh means you come down whole step. So from G to one, two. This is G minor seventh chord. Got it? What about an A? Let's see. What is it? Oh, it sounds so harsh. Now let's find, is this major chord or minor chord? From bottom to middle, one, two, three, four half steps. So it's going to be major chord. And then what about from top to the seventh note? It's just half step down. So major seventh chord. But then it will be A major seventh. How do we write? A major seven. Got it? Then if we just come half step down, this is a seventh chord. And then making minor, half step down, and then this is a minor seventh chord. And then if we go half step up, then this will be a minor major seventh chord. Got it? That's how you find the chord. Now with using this chord, let's play nice jazz music. <laughs> 